All right, let's look at this one. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't buckle, okay? Uh, we've got a 10 foot uh, wooden column, it has these dimensions right here. I'll determine the critical load uh, if it is bottom is fixed, top is pinned. All right, so fixed and pin. If we look at the the um, um, the page before, this would be given to you. K is 0.7. So fixed and pin, K is equal to 0.7. Um, my P critical, which is what I'm trying to find, critical load, we'll say the critical force right here. P critical is pi squared EI over uh, KL quantity squared. All right, so P critical would be pi squared. The E was given to us 1.6 times 10 to the 3 KSI. Look, be careful and look at my units here. Kips per square inch. All right. The um, I. All right. Well, we, we were given the cross section, so we can find the I. The IX, though, let's see. The IX is 112 BH cubed. So this would be 112 2 4 cubed. Uh, this would be 10.07 inches to the fourth. Uh, but the the IY, you know, this has different IX and IY. Let me calculate both of them. 112 HB cubed, 112 uh, 4 2 cubed. This would be 2.67 inches to the fourth. How is it going to buckle? All else, um, everything else constant. How is it going to buckle? It's going to buckle about the weak axis. It's going to buckle about this smaller 2.67, right? Because if I plug in 2.67 versus plugging in 10, this is going to give me a smaller force P. It'll, it'll already buckle about this axis before it will even think about buckling about the other axis. Uh, so use that smaller I um, if there, there's any uh, choice. All right, and then divided by k, 0.7, and then the length, 10 feet, but be careful, look at this, kips per square inch, inches to the fourth, well, that's got to be in inches, so 10 times 12, so 120 inches, yeah, let's just do that, well, y'all, 120 inches, uh, and square that. All right, so the p critical would be 5.97 Kips. Now that might be the answer. I mean, I'm, I think this is going to buckle before it crushes, before it yields. Um, but let me, 5K, it's going to yield at 5 KSI. Now that's not KSI, That's this is just a force. Uh, what stress does that correspond to? 5.97 kips divided by the area 4 inches by 2 inches. So this is 0.75 KSI. So, so yeah, yeah, it, it definitely buckles at 0.75 KSI well before it will crush or yield at 5 KSI. All right, so the answer that we're looking for is a force 5.97 kips, not 5.97 KSI. 5.97 kips uh, is the force that will cause it to buckle. It buckles about the weak axis, the axis with the smaller eye, the smaller uh, moment of inertia. All right.